Your original hometown dealer, Saida, Trudeau, Chrysler, Jeep, Dodge, and Ram. More than 7.1% of the population in America suffer from depression in a given year. That's 17.3 million Americans. In fact, it's estimated that globally, 5% of adults suffer from depression around the world, and depression can lead to suicide. Therapy is one option that can help one with their mental health. While not free, there are various different therapists to help with each type of individual. There are therapists that specialize in personal growth, veteran mental health, and those that specialize in LGBTQ plus related issues. There's a therapist for everyone out there. Right here in Pahrump, there's options such as Pahrump Behavioral Health Center, Nevada Behavioral Solutions, Pahrump Valley Counseling, and more. However, if in-person therapy is something that might raise anxiety for you, there's also mental health platforms for phone, text, and web-based interactions, such as BetterHelp. Therapy is one way to help your mental health become better and learn new and better coping mechanisms that can help you understand, become aware of, and fortify one's mental health. Now, let's talk about identifying depression or mental illness in general. Does someone you know or love constantly worry? To a degree where it interferes with their daily life, that can be a sign of anxiety. Does someone you know or love have emotional outbursts or sudden and dramatic changes in mood, such as extreme distress or anger, another sign. Does someone you know and love suffer from sleep problems? Things such as insomnia may have underlying issues, such as mental illness. Sleeping too little or too much are both indicators. Changes in appetite, never leaving their room, constantly irritable or sad, low energy or motivation, nearly teary all the time, losing interest in the things you know they love. These are all signs that some someone may be suffering from a mental illness. If you are suffering from mental illness, or any of these aforementioned examples sound like you, it's a good idea to speak to and find someone you trust. For those out there suffering from depression or contemplating suicide, it can be a daunting and even frightening ordeal to tell someone how you truly feel deep down. However, if there's someone you feel you can trust, Take that first step in opening up to them. It's important to not let your feelings stay bottled up inside. In fact, that can be the worst thing one can do to themselves when suffering from mental health issues. And if someone comes to you to speak about their mental health, just be there. When suffering from mental illness, even when talking is hard, just having someone there for them can make all the difference. Please keep in mind as well that children are not immune to mental health, depression, or suicide. When your child comes forth, telling you about how they feel, telling you about contemplating suicide, or telling you that they're depressed, take it seriously.